It's the dream. What's up, nieces and nephews? It's your boy Chow. Hey, and it's your boy Uncle Burgie. Today we're gonna be reacting to a video made by Young Don, the Sauce Guy. And the title of the video is called Getting Wasted at My First College Party. Hey guys, the original video link will be down in the description box below. So make sure you guys go check them out. And guys, without further ado, wait. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you like the video. <laughs> but without further ado, guys, hey, let's slide to the reaction. Let's get it. So we end up talking for a little, and then out of nowhere, I hear something heavy hit the ground. And then I hear just the faintest, oh, oh, oh. Then my guy jumps back behind a dumpster, so now I'm like, what the f is going on? I peek behind a dumpster area, and I see dude picking up his unconscious girlfriend off the floor. I'm like, yo, what is this? I was chilling in my room when one of my boys shoots me a text saying, Yo, kick back tonight at a meds crib. It's about to be lit. So now I'm hyped because this was going to be my first real college party. And in a lot of ways, my first real party, period. You see, during high school, I was always under lock and key by whoever I was living with. It's just kind of Caribbean culture for adults to try to do their best to keep their kids out of trouble. But now, I was living in sunny Southern California, baby, by myself. That thousands of miles away from anyone who could tell me to do anything. So, fast forward to later that night and I show up to the party and the place was packed. Music's playing, people are dancing, hookahs are being smoked, drinks are being drank. Without a doubt, this was indeed a college party. So I made my way inside and to be honest, I had one mission and one mission only. And that was to get rickety rickety wrecked, <laughs> son. Let me explain. At this point in my life, I had never been legitimately drunk before. So I was really curious. I simply wanted to know what it felt like. And yes, I know in hindsight, terrible, terrible display of judgment. Like I applied zero of the wisdom that my parents have been cramming into my head all my life. But when you're 19, your fuck it levels are dangerously high. So I get to the party and I beeline it over to the kitchen. I grab a cup, grab a bottle of Jack Daniels, and then I fill half the cup with alcohol. Keeping in mind, never had hard liquor before. I top the rest off with some Coke, Coca-Cola that is, not, not cocaine. Come on guys, one thing at a time here. I top off the rest of the drink and then I down the whole cup in one go. You see, here's the thing. I'm the kind of person that goes all in right away. Like, I'm not a let's test the waters kind of guy. I'm either all the way in or all the way out. Like, when I go to birthday parties, I decide before I get to the party if I'm gonna have any cake because either I'm not gonna have any cake at all or I'm gonna actively try to put myself into a diabetic coma. There's no situation where I'm like, mm, I think I'll just have one slice of cake. No bitch, I wanna hate myself at the end of the night. Do you understand? I wanna be sitting on a toilet curled over in pain from how much cake I ate. So I down the cup of liquor and I go sit on the couch and I am literally just waiting to be washed over with this feeling of being drunk. I was excited to know what it felt like. A few minutes passed and I felt nothing. Now, of course I felt nothing. It's only been a couple of minutes, but I didn't know that. By the looks of everyone else, I thought this was supposed to be pretty instantaneous. So what do I do? I get up, go to the kitchen, and do it all over again. So within like a 10 minute span, I drank the equivalent of six shots. Again, never been legitimately drunk before. So I drink my drink and then I head back over to the couch. So I'm chilling on the couch, talking to some girl, and then I start to feel, <laughs> I started to feel a little funny. Like, like I was warm and I felt like the couch was swaying. And then the girl I was talking to all of a sudden was simultaneously the funniest person I have ever met and the prettiest girl I have ever seen in my life. Now, of course, in reality, she was neither of those things. However, good old boy Jack started to kick in. So now I'm like, wait a minute, I think I'm drunk. 
Okay. So now I'm totally captivated by all these sensations that I'm feeling for the first time ever, and I was loving it. I was intrigued by the concept that I could put something into my body that will then dramatically change my entire perception of reality. So I'm enjoying this feeling, and then I realized that I had to go take a look. I stand up to go head over to the bathroom, and as I'm getting up, it occurred to me that I was not okay. Like something was terribly, terribly wrong. First thing I noticed, I had no balance whatsoever. You know that sinking feeling you get when you go down the first big drop on a roller coaster? I got that just by standing up. But me not wanting to draw a lot of attention to myself, I try to act like everything's cool. When in reality, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I've made a serious mistake. So I sit back down and I was like, guess this is how I'm gonna spend the rest of the night, chilling on the couch, using the little control I had left over my body to not piss all over myself. <laughs> so already I'm like, this alcohol shit is whack. So I'm on the couch for a while and then I was like, hold up, am I tripping? Or am I more drunk now than I was 30 yeah, minutes yeah. ago? And then I realized that things were only gonna get worse from here. So now I'm panicking. Oh, yeah. My anxiety levels are on maximum strength, which guess what makes everything 10x worse. So I was like, I gotta get out of here. I, I gotta get home. I cannot afford to go full idiot mode in front of my friends. So I summon all of my mental capabilities. I get up and walk out of the apartment. Now, Ahmed's apartment and my apartment were in the same complex. So I actually only live four minutes walking distance from the party. So off I went on my journey through the apartment complex. And it, it wasn't pretty guys, something as simple as walking, an action that I've been doing effortlessly for all of my life was now one of the hardest tasks in the world. But I pressed on. Halfway to my apartment, I run into this other dude that I knew, who was also at the party. He was just outside chilling in the parking lot right next to where the dumpsters were. So I was like, that's kind of weird. But who am I to say, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm hella drunk, nothing makes sense right now. So we end up talking for a little and then out of nowhere, I hear something heavy hit the ground. And then I hear just the faintest, oh, oh, oh. then my guy jumps back behind the dumpster. So now I'm like, what the f is going on. I peek behind a dumpster area and I see dude picking up his unconscious girlfriend off the floor. I'm like, yo, what is this? And he's like, man, she had a little too much to drink. Couldn't keep up. So I brought her out here to chill out. I was stunned. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. And then it occurred to me that that was going to be me next. It was only a matter of time before this liquor in my body did that to me. So I was like, all right, well, uh, good luck with that. I'm going to go home. So off I went, stumbling down the pathway to my apartment. Somehow, I get there. I get inside and I go straight to my room and hit my bed. So I'm laying there and I'm not falling asleep. I was just so uncomfortable because of how drunk I was. I could not cope with the intense queasiness. I needed help. So I call one of my cousins back home in Florida who I knew partied and drank a lot. I call him and I tell him what's going on and then he was like, oh shit, a boy, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, nigga, help me i am dying right now he's like don don stay calm if you keep working yourself up like that you're gonna throw up so instantly i try to chill out because there is no feeling that i hate more than throwing up he then goes on to give me a list of rules that i needed to follow he was like one don't mix your liquor you already had hard liquor don't go drinking any wine or beer because it's gonna make you sick which will make you throw up two whatever you do don't lie down because it's gonna make you nauseous which is gonna make you throw up three you know that girl you saw at the party who you didn't used to think was that hot but now you're like damn she's pretty hot she's not so don't make out with her because it's gonna make you throw up four under no circumstance should you ever take off your shoes i was like what why why is that a rule how's that gonna make me throw up he was like it won't but dude just trust me it's like the fourth law that newton didn't discover <laughs> nigga probably because he was always in his house doing science and shit like that nigga never went out and partied and then i was like 
Nigga, are you drunk right now? Because what the fuck are you talking about? He was like, Don, Don, just shut up. Just trust me. If you take off your shoes while you're shit faced, there's a 99% chance you will not find your left shoe. Then I was like, okay, all right, this, this is, this is too much work. Can I, can I just go to bed? He was like, no, you gotta go back to the party. If you stay home by yourself, you're gonna throw up. You need to surround yourself with other more drunk people. That way you don't get all paranoid and work yourself up into a frenzy cause it's gonna make you throw up. So now I'm like, God, Damn it! I don't want to go back to the party, but I sure as hell don't want to throw up. So I got myself together, stood up, and went back to the party. And the last thing I remember is walking to the party. I have no recollection of anything after that. All I know is that the morning after, I was waking up in my bed feeling like complete shit with both my shoes still on my feet. Moral of the story, one, don't drink if you're <laughs> underage, and two, you really don't need to drink to have a good time at a party. I can tell you from experience that the phrase, I'm never drinking like that ever again, has been said way more times than I'm so glad we drank all that liquor last night. Hello. What's up fam, it's your boy Young Don the Sauce God, and today's winner of their very own signed YDSG poster is- Six shots, I mean, of course, you never gonna drink that much again. Yeah, you're not, I mean, but, that's crazy that he sat there and went overboard like that, talking about being all in. But hey, he learned his lesson. Yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I mean, if you tell us if you liked that video. If you did, leave a like because we like that video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Subscribe. And like and share, man. Share this video. Like it and subscribe. And man, okay. Just leave in the description box. It will be the original video. Mm -hmm. And leave a comment on what y'all want us to react to next. And we love you. Stay safe. Stay safe. And be blessed. And we out. Peace.